Hello, hello friends. Showing my face again. <laughs> um, I thought I would do a forward facing for the first part of this video rather than me usually like talking and all you guys see is my hands waving around on top of nothing, you know? So anyway, uh, happy mail haul. I have not filmed one of these in a very long time. In fact, as of me filming this, I have to go back and check when the last one I posted. I'm not even sure if I posted one this year. I might have at the very beginning of the year. I honestly can't remember. It has been a really, really, really long time. Um, all sorts of excuses, reasons, everything. First off, for those not aware, Happy Mail Hall was started years ago. I can't even remember how many years it's been. It's been a lot of years, like a lot of years. Uh, lots of requests from you guys to uh, get my mailing address to send a card. And so I did that. I set up a post office box, everything. And we've been doing that. And there's no pressure, no obligation, nothing. Like people want to send a card, great. And I save all of it. And then I film a Happy Mail Hall. Happy Mail Hall just so that I can share what you guys are making, you know, cause it's just fun. Um, there's no themes or anything. We, we tried that for a while, like doing like themes for the months and all this different stuff. And it just became way too much for me to handle on top of because I'm in Canada, um, things take longer to get to me. So it's like the theme was like way past, you know, just different things. It was like, no, this is creating kind of a logistical nightmare. Plus, I couldn't remember half the time what the themes were. Uh, so many things. Anyway, I haven't done it in forever. I've kept everything. Like, I have this pile of cards and a couple little packages that I've received. And I've just, I've kept it all. And it's just been, like, building up over this year. And I'm like, I need to film this. I need to film this. But it's also, like, it, it's embarrassing. It is embarrassing. It's like, I've been so bad. I want to share what, you know, um, what cards you guys have made. So all part of this, like, new me, new website, new everything. If you're not aware of that, I'll link to that video that I posted. It was just like a couple weeks ago, not even, um, about the whole why I've started an entire new website at amyrosavvy.com. Um, yeah, so it's, that's still going to be a very long work in progress. Side note from the Happy Meal Hall. Um, the new site, there is no ETA. Like, it's it's working. You guys can go there. I've been posting my latest blog post on there. But, like, all the actual logistics of it, <laughs> no idea. We're, it's, like, it's literally, like, a tiny little bit of a time because I'm just trying to figure it out. So, we'll see. It's going to take me a good long time. But... The actual posts are working. I will have a post for this Happy Mail haul um, linked below and it'll go to the new site that'll have my mailing address and a few of the little like ground rules um, because there gets there was at a point where it just got to be way too like just too much. Um, and then yeah, five million reasons, a ton of mental health issues, all the different things me moving out into the garage which and I know doing this I'm gonna get lots and lots of requests to film a like office tour um it's on my list I again no promises when I just I have five million things on my plate and right now number one is just keeping warm <laughs> I started filming this at the second the garage heater shut off it's actually not super cold today. We're getting a bunch of snow as I am filming this. But yeah, I will do some sort of studio tour at some point. I just don't know when, but it is way down the road because I'm I'm just doing my thing. And I'm still figuring things out and like kind of moving things around and getting rid of it and just all the like that's what we do. It's what we do, really. So yeah, this is my back wall and just like I literally threw plywood up like our we insulated the garage before I moved in here, obviously insulated it, 
we I got sheets of plywood, screwed them into the studs, and then painted them white. And just threw on a coat of paint and then screwed everything into the wall. That's what I did. <laughs> and it's actually nice in the sense that it's plywood and uh, I'm in the garage. So I don't, I wasn't having to be so worrisome about the walls. That's always been an issue with every space I've had is like trashing the walls with you know because I think because I'm always wanting to move things around I haven't actually moved anything really around on the walls because again it's a lot of work it's a lot of work but yeah that's 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 a random tidbit like if you know I ever get a different space it won't happen in this house because people have been asking um I'm like when are you gonna move out of the garage it's like never I got too many kids Chris works from home as well like there's no space for me so that's fine but uh if we ever like moved or built a house or just anything, I was like, you know, the craft space, it would be pretty nice to have at least one wall to do in plywood. You could do the nicer plywood as well. Like I just chose like particle board. I didn't care because again, it's a garage, whatever. But like nicer and like to do a wall in that, paint it nice, whatever, but like it would give you all that sturdiness to be able to put shelves and pegboards and thing, you know, like you could just, it'd be nice. So now it's like, that's always going to be in the back of my mind. So anyway, that's that on that. I will get to the filming. I want to show you guys this little pile of cards from all of you. And I hope to be like, now that I've like, Pulled off the band-aid off this issue of me not filming half an hour forever. Uh, um, hopefully I'll fill them more consistently. Like it, it used to be every month. And then it got extended to kind of every other month. And then it just extended to the point where it was like once a year. I won't be doing it. I'll do it more frequently than once a year. Um, but that was also part of the issue was just things not showing up. And then... Um, nothing really to film so I've got a little stack here and I want to share it with you guys and then as always the link will be below and then the other housekeeping thing I wanted to mention I had a lot oh I had a lot of people asking about like support and things like that and I didn't want to pin this comment on like every single video I do because I think that would get a little redundant um, but it just, I had a lot of people reaching out about, um, like tip jars and different things like that. I do have a Patreon that's also linked below. Um, I don't heavily advertise that either. It, I, I suck at all of this. I do this all as a living and I suck at all of it. Anyway, um, I do have that. It is linked below my videos and all my blog post stuff, but another option, which is new to me, I don't know how long this has been a thing, but below the video on YouTube it'll be whatever is on the right I don't know when because I'm filming like backwards so I'm not sure how this will flip <laughs> but anyway below the video on the right hand side there is a little button there's a name for it and my brain can't figure out but it's three little dots so the little button and it's got three little dots and if you click on that um it will say and I now have to double check I'll go into um, a video so that I can state it properly, you know, what it is. All right, I'll go like this, and then I'll go like this, and then I'll hit pause so I don't get a bunch of noise. Okay, so there's, you know, right below the video, it says, you know, my, my username, Prairie Paper and Ink, and then there is like the thumbs up button, the share button, Oh, now it shows up. Okay, you don't even have to do the three little dots. There is a button below on, still on the kind of right-handish side that has a, um, it's called a super thanks. So you can click on it and then you can follow the steps if you want to donate. Nobody has to do this. I'm only pointing this out just for those of you that have asked, because we were like, people were mentioning different like websites I could sign up for and set it up and do the things I think one's called buy me a coffee which I thought was really cute I almost signed up for that but then I discovered this and I was like this is easier <laughs> and it just saves me like dealing with a whole other website I ain't got time for that so um 
it's cool. So it's like, it's a super thanks. And apparently it'll like highlight your comment as well. And yeah, I did not know that was an option. Um, I know it's sort of an option within live videos. There's like the super chat, I think it's called. I haven't done that yet. I'm live videos are coming. I'm getting things set up slowly as I'm figuring it out. It's I was already just doing some earlier today, like trying to figure out and what a disaster. Anyway, anyway. Figuring that out. I've already I've done a couple of like lives for the Honeybee channel. I've never done any on my own. But anyway, those are coming. I'd like to be able to do, you know, at least a live a week or something. We'll see. Just a fun addition. And again, I know some people don't like live videos or longer ones or whatever. That's fine. I'm not planning on taking away from the content I already put out there. This is just going to be an addition to. I enjoy doing them. Um, well, like the couple I've done and I like the concept of being able to like create in real time as well as chat with you guys like it's that interaction more than anything plus the real time is kind of nice because it just shows like you know this isn't me splicing and editing and speeding up it's like this is what it's like for for reals so that's the plan I do want to do them I'm um because I had people ask like contact me about that too and they're like don't feel the pressure to do that and I was like no it's my own I'm putting my the pressure on myself because I want to <laughs> so Live videos, those are like higher up on the docket, soon-ish, again, no timeline, but I will give um, plenty of heads up before that. And I will be posting that on my Facebook page. That will be posted directly below as well. So Facebook is one of the, the my Facebook page is one of the easiest ways to, to get notified when there's something new. Um, I was actually going to do this as a live video, but didn't this was just like last minute and I didn't have time to like notify people plus I'm glad I didn't because yeah some the couple of little equipment setups I had weren't working and the little webcam setup I was gonna do for the face to face portion horrible I'm, ugh, I'm so frustrated with that like what a waste I am very frustrated because yeah it was for being like it was supposed to be such great quality well it, I'm filming this on my phone way better quality the other one is like grainy. It, it was all, it's awful. Like, awful. anyway, anyway. So, new website, live videos, getting caught up on the Happy Mail haul. Um, I'm looking forward to showing you guys these cards that um, some of you made. I'm not quite done getting things organized, but I'll immediately flip to that, film it, show it to you. Links will be below. I set up the little super thanks. So, and if the button for super, like, that's what I was getting towards backtrack <laughs> that super thanks button it's like it's a little heart and it says thanks um but there's also yeah there's a little button with three little dots someone will post in the comments there, there's a name for it and my brain is just like it's right there it's right there there's a name for that but anyway um you can click on that that's how it was like showing up before so if the super thanks button it, and it'll be under there but it should just have that which I thought was neat I'm glad YouTube did that you know for because there's a lot of people that don't want to do live videos and that's what I was saying yeah in this chat on live videos people can like donate monies for coffees and different things and yeah it'll highlight their comment and all that stuff but I haven't got there yet so we'll just see how that all works but yeah we'll get into the happy mail hall and then I would have tons of content to share with you guys you know Christmas cards I still want to do some fall stuff even though it is not fall here at all like literally like, big fat snowflakes coming down we've been getting a ton of snow we hit almost minus 40 the other day thankfully it's not that cold it's like minus 8 celsius right now something like that so that's positively t-shirt weather so <laughs> um the lumberjack plaid colors here I used that on a recent uh video the one where I watercolored the poppy card so I did that so I've got more playing to do with the lumberjack plaid and I still have to do the Simon Says Stamp holiday sparkle release and review I'm planning on hopefully working on that today because there's just there's a lot of die cutting and you know because I like to show the things so hoping to get that up 
and I think that's all the housekeeping. This ended up being, yeah, right now it says it's over 15 minutes. So I'm going to get to the showing you guys the beautiful cards you guys have sent. And yeah, thank you always. Huge thank you to you guys for taking the time to watch my videos. Just that alone. I appreciate with, you know, more than you know, with the support and then, you know, thumbs upping, leaving comments. That helps a ton. That helps me because it tells the robot overlords, you know, that you guys like my content. Um, but it also helps, like, the more you interact with the videos you enjoy. It doesn't even just have to be mine. But the more you interact with them, like, thumbs up, leaving a comment, etc. It it's amazing how it starts changing your feed and you actually start seeing more because again, the robot overlords are like, oh, this person likes it. Let's give them more of it. Even though it's like this person subscribed and clicked the bell for notifications, but that isn't enough for the robot overlords. They need more sacrifices anyway. <laughs> okay, that's it. Let's get to the cards and just stay tuned and see all the fabulous things you guys have made. Okay, switched to the different camera. The sound will be different because I'm hooked up to my lav mic for this. Still working on the sound. One thing at a time. Unless you've worked with like audio and visual equipment, it, yeah, it is a nightmare. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, let's show off the cards and gifts and wonderfulness that have shown up in my P.O. box. So first off was this lovely, let me, let me do this. There we go. This lovely little card from Jill in New Hampshire. <laughs> Clean and simple always gets me because it is not my forte. And this just is perfection. Like very clean and simple. You cut her did widow nose. And I love I know this is doodle bug washi tape that was on the back of the envelope. And I'm like, I recognize that because I'm pretty sure I have this washi tape and I've been hoarding it for years. But anyway, this fabulous little card from Jill. And she even included a little um, anti-static powder tool. I've been keeping this forever. <laughs> uh, again, I got issues. But uh, yeah, this is the tailored expressions one. So she'd sent this to me. It'll be a cute little uh, backup tool because I do have which oh there it is um I love my rabbit hole designs one um the one difference I noticed immediately between these besides like the color I do like the color um this is a brush and I know the rabbit hole one is kaolin clay like really finely milled I'm not sure what's in the tailor one it doesn't say but it smells like baby powder so I'm but I'm not positive so don't quote me on that but this one has a like a almost like a sponge tip and I know you have to unscrew it and um take the the cap out I took it off and just took a a very careful sniff so I didn't snort all the powder um but yeah so it'll like go through there and you can apply it I know I've seen Kathy Zielski use this I like the like I like the size of it and I like the color but Options are always a great thing. So thank you, Jill, for that and your adorable little card. And then I've got this one from Sally in Pennsylvania. Like I said, these have been sitting for a very long time. <laughs> so yeah, really cute little Valentine's card. I like the little addition of the sentiments on top of the hearts. Just, just cute, cute and sweet. So that one's from Sally. This one was from Julie in Florida. And she said she followed um, one of my videos to make the hot foil lips. But what she did, because yeah, I had used um, paste over a stencil and then foiled those lips. She did that, but then she's used the, like, the leftover foil and put it on top of glitter paper. Brilliant. Brilliant. Seriously. Yeah, because the stencil technically ends there and then you did it a second at least smart. It was a great way to do that. So you've got glitter and foil. Hello. So yeah, I wanted to point that out. That's a cool way. Instead of like using hot foil plates with your um, you know, negative foiled piece. Like actually here. 
have this from a recent card. So there's my negative foil piece. Let me grab a piece of cardstock so you guys can see the design properly. But I did that fall theme card the other day. So I set this aside because I was like, oh, I can hot foil this like with the hot foil plate and you negative, you know, so this will get on cardstock. But if you want to just avoid doing that, you can just adhere it as is or adhere it over glitter paper. You know, so this would actually look like over gold glitter paper. It would look really beautiful. So this is why I love doing the Happy Moon Haul. You guys get me thinking. It's interesting to see how you'll take something that I've done and interpret it in your own way or like build on it. And this is why I love doing these because it gets me thinking like so much. So this one's from Jenny in New York and same thing. I immediately was like, Oh, I like dry embossing, like embossing folders on black cardstock, like how that looks. And then she colored around the edges of this. Like this was heat embossed and watercolor, but then she colored it black around all the edges. I wouldn't have thought to do that. I really like that a lot. I'm not sure if like the camera's picking up the embossing, but yeah, I would have ju just done white, you know, white and do a die cut, whatever. But it, there's something about black cardstock and just really dark cardstocks. I just, it always makes me kind of stop. It's like, oh, hmm. So love it. And I love the color. And it, it really does make the colors just pop. Love. So got that one. Then this one from Gail in Alabama. So nice, like monochromatic. There is like glitter paper and shine and there's like little glitter bits on this background which i was just like ooh yes <laughs> love it you guys know me and the shimmery shiny glittery i'm just like yes inner magpie is satisfied so love 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 and then this one from sally in pennsylvania i actually i tried to put all these cards kind of in order of the holiday <laughs> I was like Valentine's Day, you know, and then we're getting into Easter. Yeah, that's what I was trying. So love it. Super cute. I love that little butterfly, little butterfly bling and all colored and just, yeah, the snow is falling and I'm like, oh, spring. <laughs> so that one. And then this one from uh, Kiki in Germany. Yeah, I included the envelope because... <laughs> me and my mental health issues and I, know, and I know this was meant to be humorous but it's like I'm watching your reaction no pressure and I was like oh, crap I haven't posted a video for showing my happy mahal but anyway that still like gave me a giggle so I like when you guys include silly little um like snarky things like on the envelopes and stuff too always gets my attention anyway really like the softness of this got some like sand and a beach theme and then even on the inside <laughs> dum dum love it cute way to add like the flip-flops to the inside really love that really love that just got that one and then this one from santa in finland again just really soft colors it just makes me happy you know spring feeling just pretty you know, really like that. And there's a little bit of dimension going on. So pretty. Also, if you hear bang, like my kids are upstairs horsing around. There's no school today. It's a little bit chaotic, but I got to do what I got to do. So then this one was from Ellen in Australia. She had sent this for my birthday. This might even have been for my birthday last year. Um, I can't even remember now when I've been piling stuff up. My birthday was last month in October. So love the rainbow theme. Thank you, Ellen. This is really cute. She even included a vellum circle behind this. That's cute. I wouldn't think to do that. I like that. I like sometimes how people do certain layers or the way they'll add things. And it's like, I never would have thought to do that. That's just a cute little way. It's offset too. I would have like centered it. But I like when, you know, like just moving it over a bit. It works. It works. So got that one. We got this one from Sally in Pennsylvania. Fun little Halloween card. You guys know me with my bling. A sparkly little ghost. Like, just cute. 
You guys know me. I, I love my Halloween stuff. And then we got this one from Kirsten in Germany. This one I got a kick out of. This is the Tim Holtz like 3D embossing folder, which I should have got all of that stuff for Halloween. Maybe for next year. I don't know. But the texture of this is next level, which his embossing folders are. But I love that you painted only a few of the teeth gold. Cute. Just a cute little addition. And then these, this fiber stuff. I never would have thought to add this to cards. I have like bags of this stuff that I used to use for my backgrounds when I would take photos. Um, for Halloween cards, I didn't use it this year because it just, it you know, it clings to everything. It's like, like fake cobweb type stuff, you know, that you use for home decor. And I never would have thought to add it to a card and smart. So a little vellum sentiment and we've got some gold and like scary spider on the inside <laughs> but yeah the text the texture is seriously next level so we have that one and then sally sent this one this christmas card which again i think it was last year but by the time it showed up so anyway i love the i think this is like copper embossing powder on red really like that or is it this almost makes me think of um liquid platinum is that liquid platinum it looks a little more brown though than liquid platinum embossing powder i don't know i like that color with the red so sally if you see this let me know what color you used for the embossing because on here it looks liquid platinum but on here this one looks more copper i don't know i just i like that combo it's like oh i want to do a background stamp now on red cardstock with copper ideas ideas it's got that one and we've got this one from Angie in Minnesota. We've got the fabulous embossing. These are all Simon Says Stamp. I remember the stamps that came out last year. And then this embossing folder. Really like that. I like how you guys are using the embossing folders like as backgrounds. I always get stuck on trying to make them the focus all the time. Which is silly because like they make great backgrounds. And that's the point. <laughs> uh, but yeah love it i love the texture and the dimension and you added some bling bling makes me happy oh so pretty very traditional colors too which i like so that one and then i got this one from heather in iowa this little christmas card you can never go wrong with a little snowman i love snow globes just that little strip of glitter like glitter paper or glitter washi maybe it just gives it that little extra something you know like so cute and then this one from Ellen in Australia, as, as soon as I was like, I immediately was like, glitter, love it, love it, love it. And you can't go wrong with penguins either because they're adorable. And oh, this is like that velvety type paper. You got, you've got, like, I'm just like, <laughs> I tell you guys, don't lick your artwork. You know, don't like mm, rub your fingers all over the cards because, you know, when people ask like, will this smear or transfer? And I'm like, I don't rub my hands on the cards and then I get cards from you guys and I'm like <laughs> although I don't do it with the color stuff you know with something someone's colored I'm not going like this it's the it's the textured card stock that I'm like these are fun so fun so anyway anyway <laughs> I got this one from Lisa in Ontario and again I'm not sure if it picks up but there's a background stamp and then some ink blending and then the stamp on top and again i like when layering stamps it's something i don't think about instinctively and i love seeing it like how it just adds like texture and depth and then yeah an embossing folder to add some texture and there's some bling and the embossing powder's got a bit of sparkle to it this little magpie is super happy so we have that and then these ones are from Gloria in Colorado. And again, this is like a year's worth of cards because I do have a stipulation with how many cards um, people can send because it just gets to be too much if people are sending like boxes of cards, etc. So this is, again, for a year. I just wanted to claim up. But yeah, Gloria is like the queen of like just texture and color and... 
I don't know, and like different sizes and things like that. So like there's just all this fun like bling and flowers, you know, coloring. This is like, I forget uh, what kind of texture paste this is. I know Simon Hurley has it and Picket Fence. I have some of their paste I have, I'm going to use hopefully in an upcoming video. But yeah, like just fun texture, you know. So we've got just all these great little cards. There's heat embossing and bling and glitter. So thank you, Gloria. I like this. The cute little, cute little themes, metallic. This one's got glitter and I know this is a Tim Holtz. Um, this is also a Tim Holtz. This is a die set. And imp I'm impressed because I know I've seen this one and I was contemplating ordering it. Like there's a lot of work to put this dude together. Like some of his dies are so intricate and there's so many layers. So... Thank you. So we got all of those. And then I don't really want to put the box on top of this. I'm going to just kind of set this here carefully. I want to take pictures of all this at the end. Last but certainly not least is this wonderful package from Evelyn in Estonia. And again, gifts are not necessary. I'm only saying this. Like I knew she was sending this. I was... Um, she has sent some beautiful projects and different things and I've shown them over the years, like gifts for me, gifts for my kids, etc. And she sent this for my birthday and I wanted to share the whole thing. I know I don't have to, but I just, this really made my day. I'm like, I can't wait to show you guys. <laughs> so anyway, first off, the card. I love, I love this because this was in the box. So it wasn't like in the mail, but like the box itself was mailed. And this is really cute. What a cute way to add that. Like if you're putting a card in with a gift or a package or whatever to kind of do like faux postage, that's just a really cute idea. And I would not have thought about that, you know? So, and then it's saying then same thing to add, like, like to create on the envelope. I would just, it's funny how like my brain just doesn't think like that. Like I would just stick it in the envelope, stick it in the package, give it to the person, you know? And it's like, and then there's a wax seal. And I'll get to even more of that in a second. Cause I can like peeked through this before I started filming, but you guys know I love, I love wax seals. Anyway, then the card, this Evelyn, you outdid yourself. There is something about just like a monochromatic look and yet and especially like black on black to do black heat embossing i kind of assume you added glossy accents on top of the heat emboss like to the leaves either that or you layered it really well with embossing because they're like like perfect but it just really stood out and then just to add that tiny little pop of red with those little hearts and then like this has popped up i don't know i just and then splatter love I love the shimmer. But yeah, this stopped me in my tracks when I opened it. I just kind of like, oh, this is neat. Like, love it. Absolutely love it. There is something about the black on black. And it works really well. So now, and again, you got my brain going. And I was like, how could I do something like this? You know, because it does, this isn't like Halloween black or, you know, like it's just, it's classy. I like it a lot. So there's that. And then these fun little spa things for me, which I'm actually really, really happy about. Like this one, especially the one for the hands. Love, thank you. And I'm going to do this hopefully tonight because my poor little cuticles, like it's winter time. Things start drying out. I'm trying to lather myself in lotion. And I was like, oh, this is so perfect. <laughs> so again, your timing is impeccable, but also... I, I literally like squealed when I got to this part. I was like, oh, wax melts and a wax seal. Thank you. Thank you. I'm just the, uh, and tons of these are colors I do not have. In fact, practically all of them in a sense are colors I don't have. So thank you. The, and plus I get, a, I like this little, like how it's packaged. It's just super cute. So again, if you guys aren't aware, I'm obsessed with wax seals. 
And it was funny enough, it was you guys that got me obsessed with wax seals because I would get cards from you guys and more and more of you were incorporating wax seals into your cards or your envelopes. And I was raving about them in my Happy Mail hauls because I was like, I love it. I just, I, there's something about them. I don't know what it is that just gets me. I just, wax seals have been around for literal centuries, you know, but they're making a resurgence recently. You know, Honeybee's been doing a bunch of wax seal stuff. I have a wax seal playlist, which I'll put at the end of this video. Um, and you guys will see more from me because more and more brands are coming out with um, their versions for us card makers. And yes, Spellbinders, their whole new collection. Oh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, I love wax seals. I love them. They're just, they're beautiful. Um, yeah, you can check out my videos if you missed it. I collect them, not just for using on cards, but I do collect them now. And some of you wonderful subscribers have sent me. Um, I've got a couple of vintage uh, wax seal stampers and um, a couple custom ones that you guys have sent me. And I just, I love them. I cherish them. It's just a thing. So this is like, thank you. <laughs> I'm like, oh, you know, something is just, I love it. And the colors, I was like, these are so pretty. They're so pretty. And then, yeah, this cute little, it, the stamper is a, a little squiggle with an envelope with little hearts. That's really cute. So that's definitely added to my collection. And then, when, again, I'm like, I find it, I love these. Yeah, that's how you fill them. So it's a, one of those little sprayers that you can refill from a perfume bottle. You just, you take the spray off the perfume bottle so it's just the nozzle. And then you press this and you can fill it up with that. And then, you know, throw this in your purse. And I like that. I don't know. I just, I like that. I like being able to like carry around my favorite scent. Because there's, you know, a couple of my perfumes that I'm just like, they're just, I love them. So being able to have them with me, because for some certain sense, I, it's a comfort thing with me. So thank you. I love that. And then this is enormous. What the heck? <laughs> so Evelyn has sent me many of this brand. I don't know if I pronounce it right. It's Kalev. Um, but yeah, she's in Estonia. And this chocolate brand, I think it says on here, is... Yeah, they're based in Estonia. And she, they make some of the most... I don't know, there have been some very interesting combinations with these chocolate bars that Evelyn sent me. This is the biggest one I've ever seen. This is enormous. I'm excited to try it though. And I know Chris will be too because um, he likes trying the different, the times where people have sent some of their, their own regional treats, things like that. And we try them out. So this is enormous. <laughs> But anyway, I mean, it's packaged all so fabulously. I just, I have to put it all back in the box. All nice, because it just makes me happy. So we'll just do that for now. But always, thank you guys so very much for sending in the cards, the gifts, as always aren't necessary, but I do very much appreciate it. And it really made my day to go through and to share all of this with you guys. I feel so much better about finally filming this. Why I put on uh, mental health issues, you know, and procrastination and all the things. But I do. I love sharing it. Like I've said in the previous Happy Meal Hall videos, please be sure to leave comments. Not for me. Um, leave comments for the those that have sent in these cards and just tell them how much you appreciate them and all that. Because it is so nice for them to see that. And I love doing that as well. Again, my dog's freaking out. The kids, we're getting close to lunchtime here. Um, <laughs> but it's nice for them to get that feedback and to hear nice things about their cards. And if you have questions about any of it, you can leave that as well. And then they'll hopefully see that and respond. Although not necessarily with everyone, because again, I am months behind. So they might not be watching, but Again, thank you so much. I appreciate all of you. I think I took care of all of the little housekeeping <laughs> bits at the beginning and in this. And then I'll, I'll, again, I'll have a link to the post 
with the info on my new site. And yeah, that's it. I got to go because I got to, yeah. Kids need to have lunch, all the fun things. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Hopefully right very, very soon. So bye guys.